Want to go to our callers now. First up, Josh. He's listening in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Hi, Josh. Hi, Hank. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. I was wondering what your take was on uh, Mike Bickle's ministry in IHOP in Kansas City. Well, uh, I don't have a very good opinion of what this man is involved in. And I started writing about him in a book called Counterfeit Revival, and we've actually done an article in the Christian Research Journal. One of the things that's pointed out in the journal article is that Mike Bickle believes the end of the world will unfold in this generation. In other words, he's a date setter. And so he is praying on a practical level for thousands of what he calls last day's forerunner Christians. These are prophetic voices that he hopes will emerge in the spirit and power of Elijah and defeat the Antichrist soon coming one world government. And he says that the end times is going to reveal a killing Christ who is covered with blood as he marches through Jordan to free Jerusalem while engaging the Antichrist army in a physical combat. He envisions that the end time forerunner church will be an advanced apostolic movement, and that they will experience greater things than the apostles themselves. He believes that Moses' miracles and the miracles of the book of Acts will be multiplied on a global level as the praying church looses judgments on the earth. In other words, he does not know how to read the Bible for all it's worth, that engages his followers in sensationalism. And worst of all, as I just mentioned, script torture, the torture of Scripture. He was a counterfeit revivalist and unfortunately has gone from the frying pan into the fire. Here's an example where Mike Bickle is speaking about what the prophet Bob Jones told him. And Bob Jones, according to Mike Bickle, was one of these great prophetic voices. He made all kinds of statements about the prophetic prowess of Bob Jones, who turns out to be a fraud. I'm not talking about the Bob Jones of Bob Jones University, but this great prophet that he helped put on a pedestal, who, as I said, was a prophetic fraud. Again, here's Mike Bickle speaking about the prophet uh, Bob Jones and what Bob Jones told him. Paul was anxious to talk to the end-time apostles and prophets more than the end-time apostles and prophets would have been to talk to Paul. He said because what they would do would go far greater in the glory of God Amen. and the saints in the New Testament would wait in line to greet the apostles coming from this generation. I don't know what kind of chutzpah it takes to say something like that, that this this forerunner Christian army that he's talking about is going to be so great that the biblical prophets and apostles are going to stand in line to greet the apostles from this generation because what the apostles from this generation are going to do greater than what Elijah did, greater than the miracles codified in the book of Acts. This is absolutely not only absurd, but blasphemous. And the bottom line of all of this is what he is saying is simply untrue. Thank you very much, Hank. My brother is uh, turning into a big follower, and I myself have uh, heard Mike Bickle's CDs and was quite impressed by them. And uh have been listening to your broadcast for such a long time. I wanted to uh, wonder what your what your take was and if everything that he was saying was legit. Absolutely not legit. And again, two places, Christian Research Journal, as well as Counterfeit Revival. 